With the challenge of finding a COVID test, some scammers are trying to profit off of it. They're offering free COVID tests, but really they're stealing your information or your money. Savannah Levin spoke to the experts about how to protect yourself and how to get your money back if you were charged for a test. Access to COVID tests reaching a crisis point. People waiting in line for hours at local test centers. At home kits sold out nearly everywhere. And those are the times that scammers really love when they know that they're going to have people who are, you know, desperate and vulnerable. Liz Coyle is executive director of consumer advocacy group Georgia Watch. She says people should be wary of anyone offering a COVID test in exchange for money or personal information, something she's witnessed herself. And they had a table set up, some clipboards, and said, hey, would you like a free COVID test? And they wanted you to fill out paperwork that had your name, your address, your birthday, all of your health insurance information. I would be very highly suspicious of those. People who are desperate might fall for that. What could a scammer do with someone's birthday and health insurance information and name and address? Oh, uh, a lot of really scary things. They could get health care with your identity. They could open up a credit card in your name, get a fake ID with your identity information. Attorney General Chris Carr issuing the same warning this week, saying scammers posing as COVID testers are even going door to door. Another red flag to look out for if someone tries to charge you for a test. Nobody should be paying $300 or anything right now for COVID testing. If you are charged for a test, you can dispute it by calling your insurance provider. You may even be able to be reimbursed for any at-home test kits you purchase. President Biden recently announcing a new emergency plan to make tests free and more accessible. That plan also expected to strengthen those reimbursement requirements. But implementation is still a few weeks out. If you're looking for an at-home test kit, from the federal government, you're going to have to wait until January. In the meantime, be on high alert. If you think you may have fallen for a scam, freeze your credit and report any suspicious activity to the FTC. You can also report price gouging or suspected scams to consumer.ga.gov.